In this video, we will be doing the configurations for hotel visitors. These are short-term guests who may just be visiting the hotel to eat at its restaurants or meet at someone they know who is staying at the hotel. Since these are short-term users, you'll want to give them a simple way to log in. For example, they can log in with their Facebook account. Since visitors are also hotel guests, we'll allow them to access the guest service zone. So go to System, Service Zones, and then click on the guest service zone that you've created. Then scroll down to enable social media login, which is the method in which visitors will be authenticated. Then click on apply. Now we'll also have to create a group for the visitors. So go to users, click on group, and then configuration. And you can select group three and change the group name to visitor. For this group of users, we'll only allow them to log in with one device per account so here, we'll just put one. Then scroll down to select a network that visitors can access, which is the guest network. So select the service zone and disable the rest, and then click Apply. After you're done creating the visitor group, we'll need to configure the authentication settings so that visitors can log in with their Facebook accounts. So go to External Authentication and click on Social Media. And for the corresponding group, select Visitor. Now you might want to restrict the amount of time the visitors can access the internet. So next to access time, choose limited. And for the quota, you can set it as 30 minutes. You can also set the reactivation time, which is the time they are able to log in again with the same device after their quota runs out. For access limit, this is the number of times they can log in again within the day. And here we set it as five. So this means visitors can log in five times per day and for each login, they'll have 30 minutes and are able to log in again after one hour when their 30 minutes is used up. Then click Apply. Now scroll down to Facebook Login, check the box, and fill in the details for Facebook App ID and Facebook Secret, which you'll have to apply on Facebook first. So here we'll just fill in those details that we already have. Then apply these settings. One thing to note is, when you apply for an app on Facebook developer's website, make sure the app domain here is the same as the one you have in System, General. Okay, so after we're done with all the authentication settings, we can set the policy to be enforced on this group. Like room guests, we also want to limit the bandwidth for visitors. So go to Policies, Policy Configuration, and configure Policy 3, which is linked to the visitor group. You can change the policy name to Visitor, and then click on Apply. Now go to QoS, select QoS 3, and change the profile name to Visitor. For visitors, we'll give them less bandwidth compared to room guests. So you can set this as 5 megabits per second for each individual's uplink and downlink bandwidth. Then click Apply. And now we're done for the visitor's configuration.